Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> makeup. Okay. Makeup. Right, right. A little powder on the nose. Okay, let me get that as well. Okay. That's good. That's perfect. Okay. You're going? Is it, mm -hmm. Okay. So, the, um, as we know, the five books of Moses is, contains many things. Uh, some things that you would read uh, seem irrelevant, right? You'd read it and you'd think it's history. But it's not necessarily history. We know that the Bible is a code. It's a soul code. It has to have its relevance for us in the here and now. It was given to us by Mount Sinai, on Mount Sinai, thousands of years ago, right? From God, and therefore it has to have something that has a relevance. It's not a history Amazing. lesson. So we read the Parsha every week. We read the portion. A, a portion of the five books of Moses every week. And... We finish, we go through a cycle, and every single year, we finish the cycle. Okay? So on the weekly portion that we read now, is has to do with the travelings of the children of Israel when they were in the desert. After they left Egypt, it lists all of these different places where the children of Israel traveled. Just one place after another, after another, after another, after another. And you'll read through it, and you'll see it doesn't seem like there's any relevance into it. But actually, so we know that the Torah is eternal. It has to have its code in the here and now. It has to have a relevance. So if you count the number of places that a person has traveled, that the, uh, the children of Israel traveled after they lived Egypt, before they got into the land of Israel, there's 42 times. So the holy commentator, the Baal Shem Tov, his name is Rabbi Yisrael ben of Eliezer, explains that these 42 times that the children of Israel traveled is really the travel of every single soul from his birth, from the time of the birth until he goes to his place in the next world. So in other words, if you look into the five books of Moses, when the children of Israel left Egypt, that is considered to be the birth of somebody. The birth of an individual. And that individual will go through 42 steps until finally he reaches the destination. And just like the children of Israel at the end of the five books of Moses, they're just about to go into the land of Israel. So the comparison of the land of Israel is the life of the next world. So, so the children of Israel will go went through 42 places they traveled in the desert until they got to Israel. So too, the Jew, a person will went from birth will go through 42 places. Now, it doesn't have to be a physical move. Okay, you, you don't have to count, well, I've moved already nine times in my life. Does that mean I have all oh, so many to go? Oh, yeah. So I better start moving now. It doesn't mean that. It's a conceptual move. It's a move of level of consciousness. So to the example that he brings is that one place that they were in the desert, they were in a place where they desired meat and they craved meat and they got meat for 30 days and the meat would they ate it and they shoved their faces with it and then they died after 30 days. They call that place Kivrota Taiva, the burial place of desires, which means, basically, that they reached a level of wisdom where they were able to understand that the desires are meaningless. The physical desires, what do they do? So they reached a certain level of consciousness. So, so a, a, an individual goes through 42 levels of consciousness until he reaches, finally, his unbelievable spiritual destination, and he reaches his spiritual potential. Good job, Press the red button.